Hey everyone, so if you're coming across this video, you probably, I'm assuming, struggle with anxiety or some type of form of freaking out or overthinking, whatever the case may be. Um, the dispersonality assessment is the um, uh, D for dominant, I for inspiring, um, C for cautious, and S for supportive. Um, S and then C, so D I. SC. Basically each personality type, like everyone can be like a blend, like the goal is to be a blend of all of them, but most of the time you have like a primary one. For me, my personality type is I'm a high I and then my next would be a D. So I'm an ID, I'm an inspiring dominant. And so stuff like for me, people who are inspiring type of personalities, they are your, um, you're outgoing, bubbly, like I'm here, I wanna have a good time, I want everyone to be involved and let's make every single moment like this really special epic event and we get distracted really easily and we ramble a lot and so when anxiety comes over somebody with like an I personality type like me it can be like disastrous very quickly because we're so distracted by every little thing so it's like we get one anxious thought and then before we know it we're like blah, 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 a million miles a minute tips for an I personality type because that's what I am tips that help me is to get out of the environment that you are in what's helped me for the I personality type is keeping myself distracted it seems like such a small thing because I have basically responded to anxiety based off my personality type. For somebody who is a cautious personality type, these are the type of people that are very um, thorough in everything they do. They have to have everything explained. They kind of second guess everything. They're very hard to get a decision out of because everything that they do is like, okay, let me think about it. Let me think of all the different scenarios it could go. So um, something that works really well for people who are the cautious personality type when dealing with anxiety is to make a list because the cautious people want to see everything. They want to play it all out. So when you are having an anxious thought, what's going to be really beneficial for you is to get a notebook and have it be like your thought notebook or whatever journal. You write down the thought or the thing that's got you so anxious and upset and then you write a counter thought to it a positive counter thought so basically every worst case negative thing that's tripping you out you need to then write it down and then draw a little line and do a positive counter thought to it so basically what you're doing is the c personality type is you are calling it out and you're do you're responding to the anxiety based off what you need as your personality you are a cautious person you need to be able to sit down and think everything out and draw it out but you don't need to sit there and, and basically write a complete doomsday diary you need to actually call out the anxiety and say okay where did this come from why did it creep up on me what's the worst case scenario what's the best case scenario what can I do to help the situation and put it all out on however you need it, organize it, color code it, whatever whatever suits that your personality type. And the dominant personality type, these are the, the people that are just like so focused and what's, what's exactly in front of them. They're, most of the time you're authoritative people, they're your bosses, they're your go-getters. Um, Rob's a, a D personality type and what's, what um, I've seen helps him with as far as anxiety and stress for anybody with that personality type is you need to focus on exactly what is in front of you. So basically, you know what, you could stay home and have a freak out and like meltdown or you can respond to it by knowing your personality type dominant personality type okay yeah you know what I'm stressed and I'm anxious about that but no I've got to get up and I've got to go to work today and while I'm at work I'm giving it a hundred percent of my mind my energy and everything and this this thing that's going on back here it's just gonna have to stay back there so the dominant personality type is you are throwing yourself into what is right right in front of you as opposed to my personality type uh yeah you can sit me down in front of a computer and tell me to work but the entire time my mind's gonna be okay but that thing's going on it's going on it's going on that doesn't work for me I need to distract myself I need to I need to not only just go to work I need to come out here to the beach I need to maybe write stuff down I need to go and grab lunch with a girlfriend I need to talk to grandma on the phone I need to keep myself completely entertained and busy so that way this little this little demon back here isn't gonna be torturing me all day with all this stupid garbage that I can't control um, and then the last one is the S personality type now these are your supportive people these are the people that no matter what oh honey sit down tell me tell me what's going on they're the ones that you can always go to because they're always gonna listen they're like the sweet little like grandma friends that you got or the mom friends and they're just always gonna be there to give you a hug and tell you it's gonna be okay. I this is my least personality 
type. I, I have to try and work hard to be a supportive type of personality because I'm an I personality. I'm distracted easily. You're telling me about how awful your day is and I'm just like, oh, that's a cute top you're wearing. Where'd you get that top? Oh, like totally just distracted by shiny things everywhere. So the S personality type. So if you're struggling with anxiety, this is going to sound crazy, but you need to stay away from people. Don't be calling up the girlfriend. Don't be, don't be talking because your, your personality type is you feel guilty when you go and unload on other people, because that's not your personality type. That's not who you are. You're the one who sits and listens to everyone. You're not going to go and then spill your problems to someone else. That's not natural to you. And what's going to happen is if you are dealing with anxiety or dealing with stress in your life, you're going to call up that friend guess what's probably going to end up happening? You're going to sit there and end up listening to all their problems and what they're going through and you're never really going to open up. So what's really good for these personality types and dealing with anxiety is you need to get you a good book. You need to get some Netflix going. You need to get some yummy food. You need to get some candles lit, take a bath. You need to snuggle up and be with you. Basically be the support system for yourself. And a lot of times supportive people aren't like that. They are givers, givers, givers. So what really helps people with that S personality type when you're dealing with anxiety, is to shut off the rest of the world and be selfish for a little bit. You love yourself, support yourself, listen to yourself. Whatever situation you're going through, it is nothing compared to um, the greatness of who God is and the love that he has for us. There is nothing that God cannot handle. There is nothing that God is not in control of. So why are we freaking out? <sighs> Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I really do hope that this helps someone and God bless you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.